Hello everybody, welcome to Aurora Play. My name is Jessie Marion Davis and today we are looking at Metamorphosen by Richard Strauss, a study for 23 solo strings performed by Aurora Orchestra at BBC Proms back in 2017. <laughs> And I am delighted to be joined today by Principal Cello at Aurora, Sebastian van Koek. Sebastian, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me. Um, thank you. This is an amazing, um, epic, powerful, moving work for 23 solo strings. Uh, and you performed it back at the proms uh, alongside uh, Beethoven's Eroica Symphony. Um, yeah. I suppose my first question is, um, f for you, in your opinion, what makes this such a, a powerful piece to perform? For me, it's kind of a symbol of desperation about humanity, because Richard Strauss actually did um, compose this work just after the Second World War. So it's for him, it's just um, expressing the kind of madness of humanity of what happened just before his time. I mean, uh, he survived two world wars and apparently was quite shocked about the second one. And, you know, he died just after this war, so like in 49. It's quite amazing, actually, very powerful. And, you know, especially in the beginning of a piece, we can hear those chords, which are really kind of not related to each other's, you know, like uh, symbolizing kind of, you know, madness already since the beginning. And then he opens with the theme uh, that he takes back from the third symphony of Eroica, the Beethoven symphony and to symbolize, you know, the, the March of Funebre. So it's kind of, um, you know, desperation since the beginning of the piece and uh, hopefully, you, you know, leading to some hopefulness in the end of the piece. Seb, if somebody was going to be listening to this piece for the very first time, uh, what would you advise them to, to listen out for? You don't need to know the music. You don't need to know culturally even the classical world of music, um, I think just enjoy this craziness and um, this oddity also because it's really dark from the start and just, um, I would say, let just go with the flow, you know, just to listen to the piece as it is because it's quite crazy and intense. So anyway, um, in, there's no moment you can rest as an audience. So it's quite... You know, it, and it's in the same time, it's quite short. So you have a lot of elements in the same time. Just listen to the phrases because the melodies are perfect and uh, he's, you know, his material is incredible. And in this proms um, that we're, we're looking back to now, you, um, Aurora Orchestra, went on in the second half to perform Beethoven's Eroica Symphony, um, an incredible masterpiece uh, by memory. Um, I suppose I'm asking what was going through your mind in, in this performance of Metamorphosen, um, which requires such concentration from you all, such levels of communication between all of you as, as chamber musicians, really, um, 23 solo strings it's written for. Yes. Um, how was it performing this work alongside Eroica in the second half? This is a really um, very intensive, intense piece. And it's quite short and it's 23 solos. So it means like um, we all have to be like 100% on stage because 
everyone has a phrase at some point and everyone has to express something individually even and um, combining it with a Eroica was a brilliant idea anyway because then you can compare the, the material of the theme you know you can you can have in the March of Funebre, which is a slow movement of the symphony and and I think having the two put together is actually very very smart and um, and it was a challenge because we had to actually play from from memory the symphony also then after the short break in the BBC proms <laughs> so it was kind of yeah, intense, very intense. which I've, I've, I saw. Um, I, I guess I'm really aware of also the, the ensemble, the way that you must play together as, as chamber musicians almost. And you can see that you're all looking at each other all the time. Um, how was it performing this piece with, with the conductor, with Nick Collin? Did that, I mean, of course it must have brought something to the performance, but how was that for you playing that with the conductor? The thing is, especially with Nick, because we have a very special relationship with Nick and the group, because he's, you know, he, actually exposes himself as the principal conductor of Aurora, which is a very interesting idea because then he's part of us. So it's kind of rebuilding the, the, the piece anyway together, you know, the music as chamber musicians. And it's just that he's, his instrument is actually his baton. And then, you know, his way of unite everyone into, into something like a vision, and, um, a vision that we share because he's very open-minded about also us bringing some ideas all the time and and it's really exciting because then we can participate into building something together which is uh, to be honest quite unique um i've never seen something like that that's such an interesting way to look at it and actually that brings me on to my question about um your your um involvement with aurora as principal cellist you've been there for a few years now i think is that right yes. uh, five or six years <laughs> it's five or six years well Okay, your time is fine. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess you're touching on it now. I mean, I think um, this idea of uh, an egalitarian kind of um, like equal um, team of human beings working together is what always strikes me when I'm with Aurora. Um, uh, and a lot of creativity and collaboration running through the organisation. Uh, but I'm asking you, I suppose, what is it that you enjoy about playing with Aurora? First of all, this is a fantastic group of people. It's it's more than a community, it's like a family, really. It feels like it's always a joy actually to come back to them because we're not a permanent orchestra, uh, which brings some oxygen also, because then uh, every one of us has a lot of things to do also, beside Aurora, but we're committed to the group because we really love each other in a way. And, um, and to be honest, I've never seen such a gathering of great musicians all put together because You've, you've, you've got people doing some very serious quartet playing also beside this and even solo playing. And, and it's always great actually to see everyone coming and believing and to be really happy. There's always like smile in everyone's face when we, we see each other. So it's quite great. And uh, it's a really exciting experience all the time because it's not a traditional orchestra in a way that uh, we create something really powerful also about imagination also and thanks to jane mitchell principal flute flute player and um and she's amazing actually about bringing some ideas with nick and uh, and then we're all open-minded to this idea it's quite unique actually to be part of that group thank you so much seb it's been such a great pleasure to talk to you today thank you for it's joining me too. <laughs> and um, folks at home, if you want to just watch along and there'll be a link to how you can watch the 2017 proms with Aurora performing Metamorphosen by Richard Strauss, study for 23 solo strings. <laughs>